Hello, this episode is how much do Vancouver Realtors cost? So this is a very, very commonly discussed uh, conversation uh, when doing listing presentations and so sitting down with sellers like yourself and who are trying to interview agents and find out what they're actually going to do for them, what their marketing system consists of, uh, how long and how much experience they've got in the business, and what they're charging and why. So there is the, so to get right into it, what exactly does an agent cost? Uh, there's no set fee. So basically due to the competition act, so on and so forth, there's the average fee that's been very consistent for long before I got in the business, which was uh, 7% on the first $100,000 of the sale price and 2.5% on the balance. And from that, uh, there's also GST as it's a service, uh, GST, 5% uh, GST applicable on that cost. Uh, from that, typically, the listing agent who will charge you that, the seller, uh, will break that up into roughly $49.51 for themselves and then to bring a successful buyer's agent in, uh, the typical 3.255 and 1.1625 on the balance, that's 3.255 on the first 100,000, 1.1625 on the balance, is offered up to a successful buyer's agent who brings a buyer who will purchase the property. That detail aside, the cost to sell, um, that baseline average, which is not in stone of course, is seven uh, and two and a half. Now, from there, you can offer less than that or more than that, and the goal of that whole equation is, and I'll say the, the ballpark revolves around that, seven and two and a half, is what exactly is the agent or agents you're interviewing charging, and what are they doing for it? Uh, much more important maybe than looking at the, if it's 2.5 or 2.6 or three on the difference, um, that's fine, but looking at exactly what they're gonna do differently or uh, above and beyond for that, uh, in addition to their experience, because I find most agents will charge that typical seven and two and a half once they start, uh, and then agents, that have been doing it for a while, some will charge that as well and some will charge more. So it really comes down to, again, how long have they been doing it, how much, it's, how much experience the agent has uh, and what you're really valuing in the proposition here that you're looking at. So um, what can you expect from this fee? Again, there's a percentage of that fee that will be given off to a successful buyer's agent and then there's money that will be uh, taken off for the marketing plan that the agent uh, is presenting to you. So typically speaking again, uh, they, the agents will pay for the marketing plan up front. The most common thing that isn't covered is the staging costs uh, that typically sellers will pay to get the home prepared uh, in order to get the marketing done and then uh, push that marketing out. So other than staging, typically, uh, the all marketing costs will be covered by the agent and come out of that pay, of course. And then, if, uh, of course, there's a, there's a chain of kind of command on what's owed. The, the brokerage of the agent gets a, either a set fee or a percentage, and then uh, the, uh, the agent themselves keeps the difference after all of that. So uh, the most important thing, again, is when you're interviewing agents, and, and I, as you've heard, I always suggest interviewing a few, see what they charge, see what they're doing, uh, what are they gonna do for that, and how specific they are in their knowledge on what they're doing for you by way of do you have a leasehold, a freehold, a condo, a house, and picking agents that are the most specified for the experience you are looking for, and of course someone that you can trust, and so on and so forth. Uh, what kind of questions should you be asking a realtor to make sure uh, that you're getting your value? It's, this, this is educating yourself and this again comes into play when you're interviewing more than one person, you're kind of broadening your horizons on what to expect and what's out there. And the more people you talk to, the more people you'll see, well this guy offers more and he's charging less or this guy charges more and he's got more experience but he's doing less. Is that, is that value gonna come out of the negotiation because he or she has more experience there or is that value gonna come out of the actual marketing uh, that I'm seeing over here? So you really need to educate yourself by speaking to multiple agents, seeing what they're gonna do, seeing why they do what they're doing, and really 
they're each going to plead their case on hiring them and why that, that's valuable to you, the seller, and you need to then kind of decide where that value proposition actually lies and who you're comfortable with paying whatever they're charging. Uh, can I save money on fees by doing it alone? Of course, but that comes with the whole other ballpark of doing it on your own. Are you gonna be doing the marketing? Are you going to be gaining access to MLS? Are you gonna have time to field calls, field showings, field open houses? Do you know what contract details you're looking at? Do you know how to, how to negotiate and what stance and what points to use from negotiating? Do you have all the comparables uh, that you would want to negotiate based on? Uh, so you can justify your case and not just say, I'm the seller and I want this money and take it or leave it. The goal obviously is always to sell if you're listing. So a lot of strategy goes behind that and these professionals that do this every day obviously understand that strategy, move some more than others, but moving forward uh, with the goal of success, it always makes sense to hire professionals, especially full-time professionals. I'm gonna leave it at that. If you have any more questions, of course, contact uh, me direct, jay at mckinnismarketing.com. 604-771-4606. I'd love to have this conversation uh, more at length with you at any time, uh, preferably face-to-face, -face, and we can pull out a pen and pad and really get down to uh, what we do for our clients and why and what that costs and why. Thanks again for your attention and I look forward to being in touch soon. Bye for now.